Dear Mr. President, members of the board, members of the jury, um, honorable guests and my fellow delegates, 300 times the damage of the North Sea floods of 1953, the biggest catastrophe in the history of the Netherlands, the costs of saving 170 million African children every year, and the taking of all asylum seekers in Europe at the moment. So much money loses the EU every year to tax evasion and avoidance. So why don't we just stop tax evasion and avoidance, right? Well, that's a lot harder than you would think. For example, the EU has nothing to say about untrustworthy non-member states. And even the EU itself isn't fully up, well, sorry, objective. And to solve this problem, we need all member states to agree on our solutions, even the tax havens in Europe. Now, there have been many researchers and they have proposed many solutions. For example, the OECD DEPS research with 15 possible actions, and the research of some delegates of the European Parliament who came up with the CCCTP, the Common Consolidated um, Corporate Tax Base. Um, it's something that makes tax that makes sure taxes are paid where the profits uh, are made. But there's a problem with the system, it has a flat tax. To adjust this system to our uh, current tax system, we want to implement it with a progressive tax rate. But an even more important solution for this problem can be found in the transparency of countries about their taxes. If it's known what companies pay which amount of tax, where, it is much easier for tax authorities to recognize tax evasion and avoidance and to do something about it. This is why we have got multiple solutions devoted to this part of the problem. Another important measure is Action 3 of the OECD BEPS research, strengthening the CFC rules. Those rules make it harder to ship profits to foreign countries. So, don't let us drown again. Don't let those people who think, who feel and who act like us die while they search for a safe home in Europe. Please, vote in favor of our resolution. Thank you.